hello developers welcome to my channel so if you guys use figma and love working with the ai coding tools this video is made just for you so here's the big news figma has launched its mcb server on 4th of june 2025 they have introduced it for the dev mode only and uh, for the dev mode you need to have the subscription just i'm just skipping all these things and jump over to the uh, guide they have provided so here they have provided clear step-by-step -step instruction for enabling the mcp server setting up the mcp clients and the prompts also they have given the best practices and other tools uses suggestions you will see that uh, they have also officially uh, rolled out the support for the several pair programming editors like bs code cursor windsurf claude and other editors so uh, but the thing is like uh, here is a catch they have uh, only provided the support for the bs code with github copilot and officially visual studio code documentation also says the same but if you are using the gemini code assist in the bs code so there is no native integration yet and that's what exactly i'm going to help you today i will show you how to connect figma's mcp server to the Gemini code assist client with the help of recently launched Gemini CLI. This is an open source uh, project from the Google. There are some prerequisites for it. We will see uh, this in the further uh, sections of the video. So just grab a coffee and let's set it up and build something cool together. So all right, before we jump into the setup, let's quickly cover what you will need to follow along. So first, you will need the full version or dev set uh, paid version for the Figma. So let's see it because this is only available in the dev mode and dev mode is available in the paid versions only. And next, make sure you are having the Figma's desktop application because right now they are only supported on the local one. The remote MCP support will be given in the next release of this. So if you are not having that Figma desktop application, you can download from this link. I will also paste this link in the description. From here, you can download based on your uh, operating systems. And finally, you need to have a Visual Studio code or some other uh, editors which support MCP servers like Cursor, Windsor, and you need to install the Gemini CLI and the Gemini extension. So for Gemini CLI, if you are not having the node installed, you can follow uh, this guide from here and install the Node.js on your machine. Then you need to install the CLI. So you can use this command uh, from the VS Code terminal and you can install the CLI. I have not included these installation in this video because these are very generic installation. I will upload the separate video for the same once everything is set up we can go to the next step so after installing the gemini extension and the cli you will notice that the agent mode toggle is not there so for that what you need to do is you just go to the command palette open the uh, type here open user settings and uh, click on this json one this will be uh, this file will open here and here you need to enter this configuration okay now just save this configuration what you will see it will start updating once this update will complete it will ask you to reload the gemini okay so as soon as it is sorry, you will just click on the reload tab here as soon as it reload you will see here the agent mode toggle so this is the very important step in this because without this it won't be able to connect with the mcp servers so if you will click on this now interact with the it will interact with all the mcp servers and all these things so right now as you can see there is no mcp server is configured so let's begin in the next step so let's start with the demo so first of all we need to create the mcp server at the figma end so i have already installed the figma desktop application and i have already generated a figma design using the google stitch ai 
so in this design if you will see this is not just an image it has created entire uh, components inside it for each component layering is also available there so i will create another video on this topic like how will we create a figma design uh, using the stitch ai so for now i will just create the mcp server from the top left uh, click on the figma menu and then go to the preferences there you will see enable tab mode mcp server and the settings for the mcp servers so these settings helps the uh, gemini and the uh, mcp clients to generate the uh, design based on your the code connectivity so we will explore this later for now we will just enable the tab mode mcp server once the server is started successfully it will give you a link for the mcp server this is a server set event link which we will utilize further in the bs code so, so now first we will open the gemini cli using the gemini command once the cli will open in the terminal we will check what are the mcp servers available for us for this we will use the command slash mcp and there are other commands will also available for that you can utilize so in case there is no mcp server it will redirect you to the gemini open open source configuration where if you will see uh, if you will search for the mcp server you will find out that uh, uh, this is the way how we need to initialize the settings so under the mcp server parent tag there will be uh, your server's details and there are some properties provided here like but the properties provided from the figma it doesn't match with these properties so what we will do like we will just locate where this mcp server settings need to be added for the gemini and then we will try to use the figma's configuration there so it is available in the setting.json so for now i am opening the powershell you can also use the visual studio code terminal window and you need to navigate to the dot gemini uh, folder so just type dot uh, cd to gemini and then go, there is a setting dot json file available just open the json file it will redirect you to the visual studio code so this is the place where we need to put this mcp server details let's move to the guide provided from the figma and under the uh, other editor sections you will get this uh, mcp server details update the url if your url is different and copy this entire mcp server configuration from here and paste it just uh, in the setting.json under to the uh, last configuration once you will paste it and save it you need to restart the visual studio code once it will start you will notice that in the gemini cli it is showing one mcp server is available you can also check that on the, using the gemini cli uh, command cell which is also provided if you will provide the command slash mcp you will get the details of the uh, mcp server here it has shown you the four tools are available get code variable def depths and the code connected image i you can learn more about these on the uh, figma's guide which they have provided so this means like our figma dev mode mcp server is ready to use now we will go back to the visual studio code here if you notice i have already created a web application demo web application actually so we will run a python server here on the vs code and then we will check uh, how it is looking right now once the server will start so it is it has started on the 8000 port we will move to the browser and access our website so right now this is look like this it's just a demo application when you clicked on the dashboard it is showing like dashboard page is not available we are getting 404 okay now everything is set up we have set up the our mcp server for figma now just select the image uh, sorry select the figma component in your figma application and move to the visual studio code here click on the diamond button for the gemini 
and make sure the agent mode is enabled now give the prompt which you want so i want to create a dashboard page as per my uh, figma so what i will do is i will prompt it to create the dashboard page and i will provide a specific instruction like based on the selection in my figma desktop application along with that i have also provided it to create in modern html and css based on your languages and technologies you can instruct it the more clearer the instructions the more good output you will get now you will notice the tools which have seen we have seen in the gemini cli these are in the picture so so if you will notice it has used the tool cat underscore code for the uh, mcp server and i think it is fetching some data from the backend server and then uh, it is fetching the images using the get image tool once you will accept the changes uh, it will again start working so this is working in parallel with you like based on your input it is creating the next things so like if you have accepted the first two things it is moved to the third point now once the structure is ready uh, it will show you the uh, dashboard.html file which it will create so just watch the output it is giving so if you will notice it is saying it will it has created the index.html uh, or it has updated the styles but i don't want this because i want a page called dashboard.html so what i will do this this time i will reject this change now i will again uh, prompt it to create the new file and then uh, there include my changes so let's see what is the output for that so this is the part where agent mode of the gemini comes into the picture it works based on your input in the uh, in like live mode like you are working with your teammate only okay so as i have given this prompt what it did it has provided me with the html file and if you will notice agent is still working on it so now when i accept the dashboard.html you can also view the changes and then accept it in the production but it is just for demo so i have clearly accepted it and you will see it has again started from for the further uh, processing now based on my input to accept the dashboard.html it has created the style.css as well okay previously we have uh, declined the changes then it has created dashboard.html now i have accepted the changes so it has created the style.css this is the best best thing i am seeing here so just click on the accept and i think everything is done and it has created both the uh, files okay now let's take a look how it really looks into my website let's start the python server again and once it is started the website and click on the dashboard link now as you can see it has created a web page and it looks similar to the figma we have provided just compare it side by side then we will notice what are the changes it has done and how accurate these changes are so this is my website and if you will notice it has created the ui in the responsive mode itself so just zoom the uh, i'm just zooming the figma and if you will see it is almost exactly the same so only the dashboard alignment is not there it has also provided a plus sign it has provided the image as well so if you don't want these images you can use the prototype as well these settings you can further explore and i will also try to create further videos on this topic so if you will go down there it has also created the matrix actions almost correctly so if you will see a little bit alignment fixes needed here and other than that it has also copied the icons as well from the figma and that's it devs
you have now seen how to connect Figma's MCP server with Gemini code assist inside VS code using the Gemini CLI even though there is no official support yet we went through everything from setting up the tools enabling the agent mode and linking the server all the way to actually generating working UI code from the Figma design using just a prompt imagine how much faster you can build now you just have to click on the Figma desktop app on your component and on the BS code you just need to give a prompt and your UI is ready so if this video helped you please give me a thumbs up subscribe for more dev tutorials like this and let me know in the comments if you would like such contents more more of those such contents then I will post you till then thank you for watching this video